Trump stomps out the, I should say, supposed blue wave with a rude awakening on the midterms and beyond by us for trumpcom The 2018 midterm elections are in full swing nationwide, and President Donald J. Trump has been rallying the Republican voters. Republicans must keep the House and Senate this midterm. President Trump uh, tweeted earlier this morning on the midterms. He said Republicans are doing really well with the Senate midterms. Races that we're not even thinking about winning are now very close or even leading. Election night will be very interesting indeed. Currently in the 115th Congress, the Rep uh, Republicans are the majority in both the House and the Senate. According to the Fox News interactive map, we can see the swing states for the Senate are Arizona, Indiana, Missouri, Tennessee, and Florida. The House has 435 seats. The Democrats have 193 of the seats currently. And uh, the uh, Republicans, uh, 237 uh, with five vacant seats. There are currently 30 toss-up seats across 15 different states. To maintain the majority, 218 seats must be won by the Republicans. Democrats are back to their old dirty tricks. Barack Hussein Obama from the previous administration has been speaking out negatively about our uh, former, uh, about our president. And uh, he wants uh, to take uh, the House away from the Republicans as the majority leaders. Barack has been out stumping for the left and taking credit for President Trump's successes. He is also bashing him in an attempt to delegitimize our president. Yeah, because he's an illegitimate president. He talks about Trump being illegitimate. Yeah, right. Katrina Pearson wrote an excellent piece entitled Failed Obama Attack Successful Trump in a Bitter Swan Song. Barack's speech at the University of Illinois, yeah, where he continued to trash Trump, but the only person he wound up trashing is himself, calling out what a loser he is. President Trump also tweeted this morning and said, the Dems have tried every trick in the playbook, call me everything under the sun, but if uh, I'm all of those terrible things, how come I beat them so badly? 306 to 223 electoral votes. Maybe they're just not very good. The fact is they are going crazy only because they know they can't beat me in 2020. Of course not, but we have to get uh, out and vote. Get ready for a red tsunami. It won't work though, if we don't all vote Republican on November 6th and uh, be registered to vote. Absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, red, uh, they're they're expecting, uh, expecting a blue wave, a blue puddle, that's what we call it. But uh, you see, Obama's out there, but not gaining much steam. Look, look at the, these morons. Look at all the morons in this picture. I mean, how do you expect to win, right? Come on now. Come on now. You use are all a bunch of nutcases. That's all. That's all uh, you you represent. You don't represent the people of this country. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.